I learned programming and switched careers just by adding few simple habits in my day-to-day -day life and sticking with them and that got me from here to there. Setting goals or writing down new habits is easy, but sticking with them is hard. In this video I will explain you how I stick with my plans and hopefully this will help you to change your life as well. Let me give you real-life practical example. I have my own apps in the App Store and eventually I would like to go and work on those applications full time. But instead of setting hard but slightly possible goal to go full time indeed till the end of the year, I'm focusing on daily actions and habits and setting minimal and optimal input what I could do every day. What that means. So I decided that to move towards my end goal to be full-time indie, I should work on my apps every day for an hour or more. Currently, as you may see, I'm on family vacation, but I can still do some work in evenings or in early mornings. I just need a little bit less sleep than my family, luckily for me, and I often wake up earlier in the mornings or just go to sleep a little bit later, and that's basically enough to have an extra hour or two to work on my own applications. But you may say, what if you really don't have an hour in a day for your top priority in your life? Bad for you or bad for me if that happens, but that may happen, right? I have example for that as well. A few days ago we were on a day-long boat trip to dive in underwater national park. That was an amazing experience. Very nice place, highly recommend to visit. And sure, I still had an hour on the morning before the trip to work on my project. But there was a problem. The weather wasn't great. It was very windy and after getting in and out in the water and staying in the wind for a while, I got a cold. On the next day I didn't feel great at all and even throughout I still managed to go to the buggy trip and spend a day in a desert. The day later I just felt like crap. I wasn't in my best programming shape, therefore we decided that, yeah, probably I should visit the doctor and, yeah, we found that I have 39 degrees temperature in Celsius. I don't know what that means in Fahrenheit, but whatever, that's, that's a lot. Even after visiting doctor and getting medication, my temperature was very high and, yeah, I... So clearly I wasn't in my best programming shape. That's why I have a minimum effort goal for my indie app development as well. Sure, if I can do this one hour or more work on my indie apps, that's great. If I can't, com commit at least something. Maybe write a new comment in the code. Basically, I would like to kind of see that, that effort keep going. Even if I can't do full hour of work just because, I don't know, something happens, you know, unexpected things happens, you have to do something for family or with family, or you are getting sick. I still can do something. Of course, I could just skip this one day and nothing bad will happen. From my experience, skipping one day in your if you're trying to kind of build some habits is just fine. Two days it is already danger zone, from three days you already can easily stretch to the week and the longer it's the break the harder it is to start to get momentum back. And there is already chance that you will drop this habit and will remember about it only close to the end of the year. So. I don't like that. Okay, building and uploading. So sometimes this works. Oh, password entry, okay. Give me a sec. Sometimes you can just send your family to already kind of uh, find spots next to the pool and you can <laughs> upload a new build <laughs> for the app. So I'm uploading new version for the application and I just kind of uh, added a few changes today in the morning when I was wasn't able to sleep, then I was in procedures uh, to visit the doctor because I thought out that I have brown height and yeah, uploading new build. You can, yeah, find some sp small pieces of time to do the work if that's your priority or do whatever, you know, scroll TikTok, whatever. Uploading. So, And I will take iPad with me to the beach and I can do some writing on it. So what are my goals and habits for 2025? I don't have written down anything specific, you know, like to earn 100,000 K in 2025 or 
get this YouTube channel to 100k subscribers. Yes, of course, I would like to hit those numbers. That could be great, amazing. But I'm not setting that as a goal. Because imagine, for example, if I have a goal to reach 100k in revenue, what will happen if I will get to the 90k? Did I fail it or not? Okay, probably no. What about 75k? <laughs> Is it failure? Again, probably no. So, goals like that doesn't make sense. So here, what we could do instead. Instead of setting goal to earn 100k in a year, set a goal to work on your indie apps daily. Instead of goal to hit 100k subscribers on YouTube channel, make a goal to work on your content every day. So I pick a team for this year. This will be a year of systematic growth. I would like to basically keep growing my revenue from indie applications and also this YouTube channel. And that doesn't really matter. Will it be 100k in revenue or 50k in revenue? Or that will be 100k followers or 50k subscribers on this YouTube channel. I appreciate each and every one of you who are deciding to subscribe, but... Uh, I'm not setting that as a goal, you know. This decision makes my day-to-day -day activities and habits easy. I need to introduce and track just two habits. Basically, working daily on my indie applications and daily creating content. And also, of course, I have to keep an eye on my numbers. On so my revenue numbers, is my revenue growing or falling? And uh, also, YouTube subscribers and views. Are those numbers are growing or stagnating or falling because yeah of course it doesn't make sense to stick with some habit and keep repeating the same thing every day if you do not see any results sure those metrics are important as well but revenue and followers are good as metrics to measure efficiency of your work but those are bad as a goal all of that that activity I assume that will take something like from two to three hours in a day of my time and energy and I have it. I can do that. You don't really need crazy effort to make big difference in your life. Ordinary and simple things, simple habits can lead to the huge results, huge difference if you will do that long enough. So it's important. It's really so simple. You really don't need to do anything crazy, super outstanding and so on. You just need to decide what is important for you. Find simple things, thim simple actions which will kind of lead towards your goals and stick with them for long enough time. And it is not so hard. It can take, I don't know, an hour, maybe two in a day. For example, this content creation thing that I decided to do. So I decided that I would like to do those 100 minutes in a day of creating content. That feels kind of a lot, but I'm doing that right now, just walking from my pool to the doctor's appointment to do breathing to fix my lungs after this uh, crazy cold or bronchitis, whatever it is. It's doable. It's possible. You can find you can find time for that, basically just uh, stop wasting it. Most of us wasting time, most of us wasting a lot of time in scrolling, Netflix, whatever. You need only extra one or two hours in a day and stick with your, pick one habit, stick with it for a year. And tell me thank you at the end of the year. Okay, see you in 12 months to compare our results. I never have been in Dachau before and we are here just for day trip and just to oh. eat a lunch. But I'm definitely coming back here. I like the vibe. And there are so many freediving schools. So yeah, I have freediving up, you know, maybe. So next time we are coming to Egypt, we're definitely <laughs> staying in Dachau because it looks exactly like Hurga 20 years ago. I like this vibe. Mm-hmm.